to Howdy ho YouTube, how are you guys doing? And welcome to another edition of Lunch Break brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. It's easy peasy week all week long. We're bringing you our very best recipes and most easily to duplicate recipes. Well, all the way back from Florida, without any further ado, I'm gonna put it on over to my main man, your master chef, Greg Muller. What's up, everybody? Appreciate you joining us for another episode of Lunch Break, presented by Rectech. Powered by Kingsford, it's fantastic to be back in Evans, Georgia. All I will say, St. Augustine was very, very nice to us. We had beautiful weather down there. Wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. Beautiful breeze on the beach. You could be in the shade under a sweatshirt. You could be in the sun sweating like a fat kid, but it was great. <laughs> good couple of days out of town, I'm not going to lie, but appreciate good. you guys being back with us here today. Well, yeah, you totally deserved it, Chef. You totally deserved it. So anything, what was the most exciting thing that you ate while you were on your trip? So the most shocking thing, and we're talking to with uh, Sherpa and John Slibigo, we were staying at the Ocean Grove RV Resort. Okay. First time I've ever been to a, a, a RV resort. We're like state park kind of people. Um, dude, dinner at the pool house did not suck. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that could have made it better was uh, they were cooking on a rec tech. Okay. But we're going to go back in July. All right. So maybe we'll, we'll work on that in the meantime. But shout out to those folks at the Ocean Grove RV Resort. It was a blast down there. Yeah. Super nice. Uh, you know, you could drive your truck on the beach. So the F-250 took the sand like a champ. People love the, uh, the red, white, and blue Super Duty with yeah. that. Rec Tech Academy license What's plate on the front. What's not to love about that thing? Just saying. It just, just, <laughs> just screams America. So it was great. I had my uh, Rec Tech Icer cooler in the back, um, keeping our beverages icy cold all week long. It was a blast. Good yeah, time. About we it. got well, back late last night, so yeah, yeah, it was good. Well, we've been killing it all week long, Chef Greg, while you're gone with You know what? I was week. watching. Uh, I was kind of upset. Jody didn't set an all-new SPM record, a shrimp per minute. Uh, John and Sherpa are killing bees back here. But um, I know Jody's been 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 eating trim, doing doing really good. Really good. I was really hoping he would have taken on the SPM challenge. Yeah. Thirty eight shrimp. I think he could do it. I know he could do it. I know he could do it. But we got a great recipe for you guys today. Before you can do that, go ahead and smash that red rectangle and make sure you like and subscribe and drop this video into your favorite social media platform. We're gonna debunk some myths when it comes to boneless, skinless chicken breast. Probably my most. I don't want to say hated because I hate I don't I don't like that word. Mm -hmm. But like I'm not a fan of boneless skinless chicken breasts. Mm -mm. Okay, like not a lot of flavor, mm -mm. like no skin to eat. Mm -mm. I mean, what's up with that boneless skinless chicken breast? Right. But we're gonna debunk some myths and we're gonna show you guys great ways you can have super moist, delicious, juicy boneless skinless chicken breast cooked on RT700. We got this bad boy fired up to 500 degrees. Bless Excuse you. Excuse me. Good Bless lord, this pollen's back, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Sherpa's not paying attention. Okay. Come on, Sherpa, are you on vacation? <laughs> She's in cracker, Sherpa. But we got the RT700 uh, fired up to 500 degrees with a sear kit. We're rolling those Kingsford maple pellets. And Sherpa, I'm going to show you something to get in here. So if you want to clean your sear kit, all you do is grab an onion. Come on. Come on, Sherpa. Come on. And you can take that onion and clean your sear kit. Okay. And you're not wasting much of the onion. So again, it's not going to hurt anything, okay? Yeah. And it's never a waste anyhow because you're using it on your grill. For sure. And then you can easily, you know, chop it up, whatever else you want to do with it. But that's it for the onion this time because we're going to use a red one later on. But that's right. We're not going to throw that out because it's not the kind of people we are around here. We grow the food, okay? Chef John out there in his 8-inch uh, his shorts. I'm telling you. Thighs out just, that's right. you know, making the garden pretty. But boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So these are... I'll say average size chicken breasts. A little big for me. I like the smaller ones. Okay? But there's a little gobbly goo. So right here is going to be where it connects. This is where that wing is. And a lot of times there's a piece of cartilage and some junk over there. So I just trim that stuff off. Okay? I don't want to eat it. It's coming off. Also, too, sometimes right where the rib cage is, it'll be a little piece of cartilage. Just cut it off. Okay. Now here's where we get scientific. Sherpa, would you say that's about a quarter inch thick? About a quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. You'd say that's about two inches thick. Yeah. Okay. 
how on God's green earth is that going to cook the same as that? Ooh. It's not. And you could get the tuckaroo going. No. Okay? Take your knife and just scallopini cut. Okay? So that would be a butterfly if you want to leave it whole. So now it's even and consistent the whole way. Okay? Now it's going to cook the exact same and quicker. Okay? I like that. So a very lean pieces of meat, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, uh, maybe it's a pork loin, pork tenderloin. There's not really a benefit from going ultra low and slow, okay? There's, um, there's no benefit to it. You don't need to break down any tissue. You're not trying to make it tender. If you want moist, delicious foods that are leaner, hot and fast is the way to go. That's right. Okay, so anything over 400 degrees. Again, we're burning those Kingsford maple pellets with that sear kit mm -hmm. at 500 degrees with the sear kit, okay? If you don't have a sear kit, no worries. It might just take an extra minute or two. But again... Big piece of chicken. And that's a lot of chicken. Who eats that? Okay? I'm just saying. And we're going to divide these up. We're going to show you two different ways I love to do chicken around the house. Sometimes oh, I'll even yeah. bread these and cook them right on that nonstick grill mat available at rectech.com. Um, good, good times. Good times. Yeah, Chef no, John, I'm anybody in the comments out there yet? Got, oh, yeah. They're all tuning in, Chef Greg, right yeah, now. Yeah, buddy. Uh, they're say uh, Tom Taylor's out here. He says you're making this look so easy. It's Tom. It's not hard. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I play a chef on TV. Well, I, I am on. Yeah, I mean, I, you yeah, know. yeah. And we didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> okay. Sharp knife, cold chicken. Really, really simple. Randy Norman's out here. He says, uh, Chef Greg, does King Kingsford make a mesquite pellet? Uh, they do not. They do not. They've got um, a cherry wood, a uh, the signature blend, classic blend, hickory. And uh, maple. maple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said that. It's five. Yep. Five flavors. Now, sometimes if I'm doing, you can pound these out as well, but I don't. Because cutting them thin like that, it just does the trick. Okay? And for all those food safety police, we're going to do like a slow-mo montage of me putting the board and knife underneath. There because I'm not going to get harassed by the food safety police no. trying to say I'm going to cross-contaminate some chicken. Uh -huh. I know better, people. All right. So, again, we've got our chicken butterfly scallopini cut. You can also buy these at the grocery store, the thin cut, but they charge you for it. It's true. You got a knife, just do it yourself. All right, so here for those slow-mo police right here. Dirty going bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. This one is clean. Ooh. Okay. Clean board, dirty board. And if Sherpa wants to look at my feet underneath, he can, sh I'm Sherpa, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Takes it so literal. All right, so we're going to marinate these. We're going to show you how to do a delicious Asian lettuce wrap, as well as one of the favorites around our house, bruschetta chicken. And who doesn't like pesto? Yeah. You have an abundance of basil around the house. Mm -hmm. Why not, like, make you some delicious pesto? You know, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, basil, olive oil. So Bill Groves is out here. He says, Chef Greg, what is the attachment that you have on that RT700? Oh, that would be the cold smoke box. Again, available at rectech.com. Cool, cool thing about this, we're rolling this grill right at 500 degrees. And you can see... We're about 300 degrees at the top, you know, 250 in the bottom. You can put your food in there, okay, and uh, get a little more flavor. You can also fit a 9 by 13 pans in there, three of them. Yeah. So if, let's say I was doing uh, maybe a little Israeli couscous yeah. or, you know, some other foods that have either already finished cooking or maybe I just need to warm up or keep hot, yeah. that smoke box is a great accessory for you guys. All right, but I'm with chicken, I'm a dirty hand, clean hand kind of guy. Okay. Okay, so we've got uh, two things of chicken. We're going to do the uh, pesto chicken first. Ooh, right. I'm going to go ahead and season it up with that Colton's freaking Greek. Just like that. And a little bit of pesto we made earlier. Okay, and again, it's just a puree of pine nuts, Parmesan, basil, and a little olive oil. That's it. And it's a little thick, so we're going to add a little more olive oil in here. And all we're going to do is just kind of like, just kind of mix it up. Okay, you can put this in a glad bag, put it in the fridge. Do this in the morning, and that way when you come home from work, all you got to do is uh, turn the rec tech on with your smart device, utilizing that app. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And just let that marinate for a little while. And maybe you can't let it marinate for a couple hours. That's fine. You know, 20 minutes is better than nothing. That's true. Okay? Five minutes is better than nothing. <laughs> but that literally took two seconds. Two seconds. You can literally buy that pesto already made if you want. That's right. Okay? You don't have to use mm -mm. the from scratch. No. But, I mean... 
That, that's how we roll around here. If John's going to grow it, I'm going to cook it. That's what I'm talking about. John Starjevich is out here, Chef What's Craig. up, John? He says, what are you going to do with the trimmings? Stock, question mark? Yeah, you can definitely throw it in, in a pot of stock. Uh, don't throw it away. But it is a lot of cartilage. You're not really going to eat it, so it's not like you can grind it up for anything. But throw it in some chicken stock, you know, be good. Now, I will say, I, I have to address the elephant in the room. Yes. Sherpa. What did you do to your face? Oh, uh, yeah, they haven't seen he's it. A different, he's a different Sherpa. Yeah. Like, yeah. I look over there, and it's like, I can tell it's Sherpa because, you know, we know what the Sherpa sounds like. Yeah. He doesn't look like the Sherpa anymore. No. He had I an think, accident with some trimmers. I don't know, man. I think that, I think that girlfriend kind of told him to clean up. <laughs> yeah, I think she did, too. <laughs> she said, clean it up, Sherp. All right, so for the Asian chicken, of course, we'd use that Jody's Asian Persuasion. And there's no better, uh, no better way to use that uh, sauce and spice bundle available at rectech.com for sure and this is the uh so yay very very, very shout very. out clorox family okay a little of that and i like the thin teriyaki sauce see this is not like the super thick stuff that's right i think it makes a better marinade in my I, opinion i definitely agree with that too okay uh, and then again Ray. all you're gonna do is just mix this up and just let this marinate 20 minutes two hours I love it. Bill Whatever Rose is do. out here. He says, Chef Greg, what is the lowest temperature you can get that smoke box? All right. So it really starts with the grill because you have to have fire. So on the RT700, on the low end, you're going to get about 180 degrees. And having said that, if you live in an environment, let's say I'll pick on Florida because I was just there. It's beautiful down there, by the way. Mm -hmm. But let's say it's 100 degrees outside. And you're in direct sunlight. That grill is probably 150 degrees. So the low end, you might get 200 degrees. The smoke box is typically 100 degrees cooler than the set point of the grill, and there are some variables involved. If it's, I mean, like freaky cold outside, you might see a little bit of more variety. Maybe it's 120, 130 degrees. Or if it's like stupid hot outside, it could be a little bit less. But on average, it's about 100 degrees. So we've got our pesto chicken, and mm -hmm. we've got our um, Asian chicken. Mm -hmm. Super simple. Super simple, Chef okay? Greg. But... You know I already marinated some. Yeah. Okay. Because we gotta have some that's gonna be delicious all the way through. This ain't this ain't my first rodeo. Nope. Okay. And we're gonna show you really fast, easy sides that we can uh, do with this, and it's not gonna take very long. I love so it. we're gonna get these started. This chicken's gonna get done before I have a chance to cut up all these vegetables. Okay. Now, now, Chef Greg, Brent is out here, and he says, "Does vacuum sealing help with the marinades?" For sure. So there is air in that chicken so what's going to happen is when you vacuum seal it you're going to pull all the air and basically fill that void with the marinade so if you want to vacuum seal them now the only way you can really vacuum seal this is would be a chamber machine okay so a, a um a traditional uh you know uh, food saver not so much so we're just going to lay this out okay and again this grill has 702 square inches of cook space plenty of room for all this deliciousness right here. That's right. And Chef Greg, with a 40 pound hopper, you're not gonna run out of pellets on any of your cooks. No, buddy, not with uh, 40 pounds of, uh, of pellets. Mm -mm. Easily cook for about 40 hours at 300 degrees. All right, this, this question's coming from Tom Taylor, uh, Chef Greg. What's he up, says, Tom Taylor? He says, Chef, can you use a smoke tube and run the fan for the cold smoke? You sure can, yeah. Go into the program settings of the grill, and uh, you can turn that um, blower fan on and keep your air circulating and, and go from there. But it's time. We've got to go ahead and make some stuff. And it's hot out here. This basil kind of – it looked great when we started. It looks kind of <laughs> looks kind of bad right bit. now. But we're going to go ahead and make the topping for our bruschetta chicken with a little bit of basil. And, again – if you don't like it, don't use it. That's fine. I like it. I'm going to use it. So this is one of those use whatever you like kind of instances, Chef Greg? Yeah, I mean, clear out clear out the garden, clear out the pantry. Whatever you like. Okay. All right, this question's coming from uh, Andy Kraft. He says, hey, Chef Greg, did you ever make it to the Columbia House? Columbia House. Oh, no, dude. Sherpa, we got there 430 on Tuesday. Two and a half hour wait. Woo! But we went to the uh, pizza, pizza alley, pizza relly, pizza whatever. I ate like a fat kid. Okay. Um, we ate at where else did we eat? We ate at some uh, some pub. I had a uh, shepherd's pie. That was really good. Okay. Um, what else did we eat? We ate a bunch of places. It was good. Good times down there. But yeah, the Columbia two and a half hour wait. That's but we did go by there to use the bathroom. That's we crazy. snuck in the back. It must be good with the two and a half hour wait, Chef. Greg. You know what? <sighs> Or everything else is just that bad. Nothing, nothing is worth a two and a half hour <laughs> wait. Okay. 
All right, so we got some tomatoes going down. Waste not, want not. Well, Compost yeah. this if you want. I like chunky tomato in my uh, yeah. my bruschetta mix. Yeah, for sure. And again, it's not going to take very long. All right, so what else we want to put in there? Red onion? It's just red onion, John. Why not? Definitely. Now, I'm probably not going to use all of this red onion. It just depends on uh, on what you like. Now, Treg O-Wings is out here, Chef Greg. He said, what temp are we running this out again? These 500 degrees. And Treg uh, reached out earlier this week asking about turkey tenderloins. Okay. So, again, if you guys think we're not available, you haven't reached out, okay? Give us an email, Chef Greg at rectech.com, Chef John at rectech.com, right. Jody at rectech.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach out. We got your back. That's why That's we're right. here. Sherpa at rectech.com. Um, don't email Sherpa. <laughs> okay. Actually, you can. It, it might get kicked back. So we got a little uh, tomato, a little basil, a little red onion, a little olive oil. Yes. Okay. A little balsamic. And I say a little because it's a little. full bottle. Just a little. <laughs> it's all you need. Okay. A little freaking Greek. Woo! Sa! And then, uh, how about, uh, a little Parmesan cheese. Boom. Yes. A little garlic. Yes. Just like that. Okay. And then you let this sit, and it's going to start to break down and get all, like, juicy and happy and delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that one's done. We've not flipped our chicken yet. Okay. I've not opened that lid. There is nothing that I need to do right now other than be patient because what's happening. Okay. Oh, the happy. magic of the rec tech. Mm -hmm. Right. That beautiful PID controller is keeping the temperature right where I want to need it. That blower fan is circling that heat all over the food. I'm cooking it from the top down, bottom up, left and right. I don't need to do anything. I don't have to worry about it burning. I don't have to worry about it overcooking. Just leave it alone. All right, so now on to the uh, Asian salad. So let's go ahead and add in some... Sorry, don't go anywhere, Sherpa. I got your back. A little bean sprouts because yes. they're delicious. Some shredded carrot. Yes. Yep. Why not? Just like that. We'll get those in the pool. Okay. We get some Napa cabbage. So yeah. all we're going to do is just kind of lay them on top of each other. Just like that. And we're just going to shave it. Okay. And if you don't like Napa cabbage, yeah. that's fine. Okay. I like the crunch here. Now, Chef Greg, you said you wouldn't wait two and a half hours for anything. Tom Taylor says a Rec Tech Academy is worth a two hour wait. Okay. Yeah. But I don't have to wait it for Rec Tech Academy <laughs> because I actually, um, I go to all of them, okay? Every academy, I'm there, buddy, okay? All right, so we have uh, John Starjevich is out here, and he says he can't find garlic paste. He can only find it in the jar. Now, I explained this to everybody the other day on one of my shows. If you guys want to make garlic paste and you have a food processor, all you need to do is put your garlic in there, peel your garlic, put it in there, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, let it puree until it becomes a paste, and then you've got garlic paste shoot yeah yeah it's kind of nice stuffed off the cleaver yeah. like you know just it makes asian food taste better for sure man that chicken's smelling amazing on that grill chef greg well john i haven't been able to feed you all week I'm so I, you I apologize so to you buddy because normally i at least get you something good by wednesday yeah and i know you've been eating good all week all week so now now we can flip the chicken let's flip it Check this out. Ooh, buddy. Super moist, super juicy, literally falling apart right there. Man, that looks so good. Okay, look at those grill marks. Really simple, really easy. And now we're going to keep cooking this till about 160 degrees internal. Okay. So, like another four minutes. Mm, That's mm, it. Mm. Done. Now, these, these, Touch raw chicken down there. Nearby. Okay, you saw that. Now you can add, now this is where we get a little crazy okay. with, with the stuff. Okay, so we got that salad. Let's add a little Jody's Asian Persuasion. Somebody say I need to know how to measure a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. Okay. <laughs> kimchi. A little chopped kimchi. I'm all about that. You, this is extra. Like if you want to go like next level, like warp speed, okay, if you want to en engage your, your Jean-Luc Picard, engage kimchi. It, yeah. Okay. It's a good reference there, Charlie. He I liked that. Like Put the he pedal to the metal. Yeah. It's just engage. Just engage. Okay. And then we're going to add where to go. I had a, uh, right here. 
on this table. Yeah. Your favorite, like, sesame ginger salad dressing in the pool. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, for this one, I'm going to glove up because to toss this evenly is going to be the way to go. You can use tongs, but I don't want to, like, bruise all of the greens. You could add cilantro in here. We're going to chop some green onions, but the acid from the kimchi, the vinaigrette. Yes. Like, this is going to be next level. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you could probably just eat that right there. You could, but we're going to make delicious Asian lettuce wraps oh my gosh. with this because that's how we roll. Okay. John Starzvit says, I bet chow chow would be good too. Ooh, I love some like Vidalia onion chow chow. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's our Asian slaw wow, right there. Awesome. And again, blank canvas. If you want to add more stuff to it, go right ahead. Okay. But Sherpa, we're not done yet because we got to address the pesto chicken. Yeah, we do. Okay. Because it can't be bruschetta without fresh mozz. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up some fresh mozzarella. John, we got to have a show on how to make fresh mozzarella. Yeah, and a show. Andy Cowley's out here, and we have to have a show on how to make kimchi. He says, uh, is that store-bought kimchi or Amanda's mom's? Actually, Andy, Chef Greg made that kimchi. We did. Yeah, Amanda's, Amanda's, Amanda's mom's, mom's is, is pretty stinking good. It is, but she's not the only one who knows how to make kimchi. She's not. Sherp, get on in here. All right, so our chicken's like three-quarter cooked right now. Okay. Okay, I know this from experience. It's the perfect time to take and add... Our fresh mo that's this is a big piece of chicken, John. Yes. We'll put two on there for you, okay? Yes, uh. And that's it, just like that. Leave it alone. Close the lid, because okay. if you're looking, you ain't cooking. That's the truth, Chef. Okay. Greg. So now we've got it's, it's a lot going on. First day back, couple days off. Yeah, I think we're going hard, going right? I love it. All right, so now let's add a little uh, little green onion to our, okay. our salad. Johnny, got another question? Yeah, I got a couple good ones for you. Uh, the first one is they want to know what pellets you're using. We got those Kingsford maple pellets. We're running 500 degrees on that RT700 with a sear kit. And they wanted to know, also know Jeff uh, Sutherland. Yep. Uh, actually, a few of them wanted to know what knife you were using earlier. Uh, okay, so the knife that is contaminated with chicken, which I can't grab, yeah. is a... Kikuichi, K-I-K-U-I-C-H-I. It's an akiri or a vegetable cleaver. And then this one here is a Porsche design. Um, it kind of looks like a platypus. Yeah. Um, I got this knife free about 20 years ago. Um, I actually don't like it. It's the most uncomfortable cleaver <laughs> ever. But every now and then it's just, I don't know. It makes It's got a big old chip in it where um, we went through a, a half of venison. Oh, okay. But no worries, no worries. Go. All right, so lettuce wraps. So we're going to take some bib lettuce and just pull the leaves off. Okay, so if you're living that like low carb, light lifestyle. Yeah. Okay, or you just want like a refreshing, you know, summer sort of. Right, you got a big day planned for the rest of the day. You don't want to fill up. You yeah. got to keep it light. Just pull these leaves off and then you basically make your cup like that and then down Ooh, the hatch. I love it. Okay, you can always just take the core out too. But you want to be gentle with the leaves. You don't want to like just rip them up in reckless abandon. Okay. okay. Some green onions, a little crunchity crunch, and then um, we made a little sriracha aioli because I felt like it. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's just sriracha, a little soy sauce, and mayonnaise. Hellman's, of course. No blue better plate? mayonnaise. You said blue plate? Uh, Hellman's, actually. Uh, okay. John. Hellman's. I thought you said Hellman's. blue plate. Hellman's. Best, best mayonnaise. In Close, the world. though. Close. God, I can smell that chicken I behind know. me. It smells amazing. Stupid, stupid delicious. Any other good questions coming in, John? Yeah, so uh, they said that they're super impressed with your knife skills, Chef Greg. And Bill Grove said, if you don't want that um, knife anymore, you can send it to him. He totally will take you it. You know what? Maybe we'll do a giveaway for uh, for the knife. I Ooh. can we'd be down with that. I like that. It'd be Not today. We'll have to come up with a good. But it's coming to you just so you know it's damaged. Yeah, okay, there's a massive chunk out of it. Still sharp. I could shave the rest of Sherpa's bad face. Like that, <laughs> that beer trim. <laughs> Woo, Maybe that could be a, an Ask Us Anything. We'll shave Sherpa live. Ooh, that's okay, so if funny. you guys want to see a shave Sherpa with a knife, go ahead and drop a comment down below. What do you say, John? If we get yeah. if we get a hundred a hundred likes, we'll shave Sherpa. Yeah. Let, well, let's let's make it kind of at least give Sherpa a chance. Let's say 150 likes. We'll sh shave Sherpa. All Ball. right. So this is on YouTube. So Clean. if we can get 150 likes by Monday, yeah. what is Monday? The let me get my calendar out. Today's the eighth. Monday's got to be the the seventeenth. So if we do Monday the twelfth, twelfth, April twelfth, twenty twenty one, Sherpa, Lord. 
we will we will trim up the Sherpa with this. Yeah, I dude, this it. thing is stupid sharp. Okay, we will shave Sherpa live on YouTube. It'll happen. 150 likes. I love it. Yeah. I love it. 150 likes, guys. That's all you need to see Sherpa get shaved. Now, Chef Greg, this, we have a lot this of... It's turned into a great show. Yeah, it really has. We have a lot of new people that are tuning in. Look at uh, this right do you have here. any tips for all our new rec tech owners out there? Yeah, just enjoy cooking, okay? Embrace the rec tech lifestyle. Use your grill for anything. I'm talking all your baked goods, everything from pastas, cakes, cookies, briskets, and biscuits. Mm -hmm. There's that delicious Asian wow, chicken. Wow, so good, Chef Greg. And then we've got that pesto... That cheese looks all ooey and gooey. John, this will not suck. Goodness gracious. You got some hashtags, shave Sherp. You got some uh, people comment in the comment section right now, shave the Sherp. I love it. Let's get that Sherp shaved, everybody. 150 likes is all we're going to need. This, this has turned into a great show. Really we're going to shave the Sherpa. So in less than 23 minutes, no, sorry, 26 minutes. Yeah. We have showed you how to cut some chicken in half, mm -hmm. marinate it, mm -hmm. cook it, make some delicious side items. For this, all you're going to do is take that oh. tomato mixture. Oh, oh Lord. And let the heat of everything just kind of get like all happy, happy, oh, happy. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. John, come on. I wouldn't. Yeah, you came to and impress And get today. you some balsamic glaze, or you can cook down some balsamic vinegar by yourself on the stove nice and light that's it pesto chicken on the rec tech and then for the lettuce wraps okay let me get one more glove here okay and we'll show you how to make a lettuce wrap mm, mm, mm. I mean that's enough now so if you didn't eat all your good. chicken you could definitely reheat the chicken like this that's for right. your uh, for your lettuce wraps Sherpa is not happy right now um, yeah, and Sherpa, we're at 51 likes right now, just so you know. Oh. 51 likes. Dude, it's going to happen. So we're going to grab that chicken breast. And we're just going to slice it up. And you can see, fully ch fully cooked, super juicy. Hey, Stevie, we're going to shave Sherpa if 150 people tell us to on Facebook. Or uh, YouTube, rather. That's right, 150 people. 150 With a knife. Likes. With a knife. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. So we've got that chicken. <laughs> We'll do, we'll do one more for good measure, okay? Marcus Woods is out here. He says, what about 250 likes to shave Jody? Oh, no, no, no. You need at least, uh, I think he, Jody had mentioned that before. It was like 20,000 likes yeah, I think before he would, he would consider getting shaved. Yeah. Rightfully so. He has <laughs> earned his statue of beard, okay? Like, you don't just get that level of, of beardom yeah. and give up as easily as Sherpa did. That's what I'm talking Sherpa about. Sherpa caved. <laughs> Poor little buddy. He did. It's okay. Sure, but we still love you. He's yeah, like, he's like, I'm not, he's like, y'all are. Everybody out here says this looks absolutely amazing. All Chef right, Greg. so here we go. Lettuce wraps. We have our, chi we have our uh, bib lettuce. We're going to add some chicken. We're going to add a little bit of slaw. Sure, but we're, we're over here now. Okay. A little bit of the sriracha aioli a little bit of crunchy wonton, a little green onion. And all you're going to do is just lay those down nice and pretty like. And again, repeat. So Sherpa, here we go. Some chicken. A little chicky. All right. A little slaw. Mm. Okay. A little of the sriracha aioli. Yeah, a little crunch and a little onion. Just like that. I'm going to redecorate this one. It kind of slipped down the plate a little bit. Okay. And you're going to repeat as many times as you think you're gonna need it. Now for me, I could down at least 12 of these. Easy. Chef John probably could do about mm, 36. Easy. In a minute. His, uh, his LWPM is a little <laughs> higher than mine. That's right. Okay. And we're just gonna stack those up just like that. Okay. And if you wanted to, you can come over the top with a little more something something, but. that looks absolutely amazing chef greg you guys got to go ahead and smash that share button comment down below if uh if you think this is going to be your next weeknight meal that's what i'm talking okay? about hit that red rectangle because you never know when we're going live you never know what's coming up next chef john here you go i know you're going to go down go to town on this uh, you know i this am a, you know, you're come over here uh, yeah, just I'll come, come on. on i'll come on over. i haven't seen you in a week john know, don't don't try to get I out know, of it buddy we haven't spent any time together. we haven't oh thank you sir yeah 
Um, but again, guys, super simple. Chicken breasts, a great way you can reuse leftovers too. So if you got some chicken, hey Steven, you want to let us wrap on camera? We don't have the table lowered enough for him to get back here, Chef Greg. I don't it's know okay. If it's gonna be a, it's gonna look small. <laughs> there you go. There's an Asian lettuce wrap for you. You guys go to town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one for myself. Cheers, Stevie. Cheers. Cheers, YouTube. You'll see more of Stevie here in the next couple weeks, I promise. Mm. But that little kimchi slaw, mm. wow. little sriracha mm. aioli. That doesn't suck. That hashtag does oh, not God. suck. Mm -mm. I didn't even eat it yet. I know it's not going to suck. Woo! Chicken's cooked to perfection. Mm -hmm. That slaw is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. The lettuce mm -hmm. wrap is a perfect vessel to transport everything into my mouth. So good. Vessel? Vessel. There you go. John's good at big vessels. Mm -hmm. mm. John is like the evergreen of vessels. Mm. He's girthy like that. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's definitely girthy. Mm -hmm. You know better than most, Stevie. But if you guys want this recipe and more, make sure you jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address below, and we'll delicately insert these recipes into your inbox. Don't forget, reach out to us, 706-922-0890. All the ladies and gentlemen upstairs cook on a Rectech. They know how to um, service all of the grill parts, all the recipes. We go through uh, Rectech Academy with them every Wednesday. Okay, they are cooking world-class food day in, day out. They're here for you guys, so make sure you give them a shout. But if you want to reach out to myself, Chef Greg at Rectech.com, Chef John at Rectech.com, and then Jody at Rectech.com. We'd love to hear from you guys. Chef John, what you got? I was going to say, about the uh, knife giveaway, why don't we do that on Wednesday on After Hours? To make all these people tune in, Wednesday, 5 o'clock, Rectech's Facebook page. Okay. Yeah, we'll give, we'll give this beat-up cleaver away there you go. next Wednesday. Okay, I promise. This one right here, I'll wash it first. I'll sharpen it. But if you want to win this knife, make sure you tune in to uh, Rectech's Facebook page next Wednesday at 5 o'clock for After Hours. And you yourself can win this knife. Um, I've actually cut down a tree with this. It was, like, it was like a branch, like that big. And I just was, was camping. Okay. And it took it out. I yeah. If I didn't like this cutting board, I would go ahead and do oh, one of those. Nice but I, board. I, like I don't do that. Too. We're don't not going to mess that up. Don't we do don't that. destroy things mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen. But, John, anything else before we close it down? No, man. They're, they're loving it right now, Chef Greg. All right. Well, it's Master's Week here in Augusta. So we're busy around here. So if you're in the area, drop on by. Check us out. 4301 Evans Deluxe Road in beautiful Evans, Georgia. There's not all partly cloudy. I hear the golf course is playing pretty hard. Yeah. But from all of us here at the worldwide headquarters of RecTech, God bless you. God bless the United States. And we will see you at, at the RecTech. Rec do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rectech lifestyle, set it and come get it when the sun starts going down.